going to come into the studio and two foot Roy Keane and break his yeah. leg. Like, yeah. this is for my father. Yeah. <laughs> On March 9th, I tweeted, what is Erling Holland? What is that thing? Because <laughs> I don't know what he is. I think we need to figure out like who bred him and what lab he was created. What sort of like, you know how they said it was rumored that they lost the super soldier serum, like that created Captain America, like versions of it keep popping out up like throughout uh, Marvel, like history. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they recreated the exact super soldier serum and made Erling Holland. I'm, I'm, I'm almost have, factual on that. Have you guys seen, you guys have seen Rocky, right? Obviously, Jenny, you've seen mm -hmm. Rocky and he's literally like Ivan Drago. He's <laughs> <what Yeah>. <laughs> They were made in the mountain in Russia somewhere. They were like, I, I, this, this, I guarantee you his warm-up is like they bring a, a fresh tree, a young tree into the, the Dortmund locker room. He's just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. the, thing, the, th the thing is about Highland is that like his, like his whole mission now is to avenge his dad. He's going to find Roy Keane and like that's his mission in life. He's going to come into the studio and two foot Roy Keane and break his yeah. leg. Like yeah. this is for my father. Yeah. <laughs> Have I you seen you, him like pick up his teammates when he like picks up it's just it's just he's a freak he, he's, he's so killer. large <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's like they bred like zlatan and cr7 and we're just oh. like hey, hey every human that you meet is your enemy that's like the every what they told him from the age of like being able to talk like they're yeah. like every human you meet from here on out is your enemy do not treat them with any respect do not treat <laughs> them with any kindness unless we expressly tell them that they are you see them wearing your colors they're the only ones you can trust can we please talk about his interviews i love them i love them listening it's to him he wasn't get interviewed built for anything best. but playing football he wasn't built to do the, the stuff afterwards they yeah. didn't program that into his firmware they didn't like <laughs> add that software that's too, he's he's built He's a purpose-built gaming machine built <laughs> to kill. <laughs> like, I remember I was watching U20 World Cup, and he scored, like, what, like, five goals? Like, he scored some a ridiculous amount of goals in one game. I was like, okay. But at this point, like, I don't even know who or what you are. My favorite thing he did this week, though, in Champions League was he when that goal that was, that was called off, it wasn't like him celebrating a, like, ton of goalkeepers. That goal he scored, even though it got chalked back, I think you saw in that, like, how dominant he is just, like, not just from like, a physical standpoint, just from a technical standpoint, just like, yo, why and how are you built this way? Like, how do you stop this, man? I just, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, it's just, I look at how I'm just like, why? It's like, why are you the way that you are? At the end of the day, it's just, who made you this way? Like, who hurt you? Like, we gotta he does, he has that, like, you can see it, it's, you can see it in, a, in certain players very early. Like, they have, like, a certain mentality. It's, like, when he, when he scored nine goals in that one game, it was apparently, like, pissed off that they took him off because he wanted 10. And it's, like, that's the kind of player that, like, does great things because they take everything that everyone else does as a personal slight. Like, the Michael Jordan meme is, like, and I took that personally. Like, every time yeah. Mbappe scores a goal, he takes that so personally. Like, he's, like, I need to get back on. He's, like, it's, like, I feel like uh, Holland's, like, the type of person who is watching Ligue 1 and, like, sees Mbappe go score a goal and has to go in his backyard and score, like, three just to, like, <laughs> in his mind, be like, yo, I got more to that. Like, he's that type of person. Like, he's it's psycho. You have to be – Great athletes are poodle psychos. Like, they yeah. are pure psychos. Like, may he rest in peace. Kobe Bryant, Bean Bryant, psycho psycho. Michael Jordan, yeah. psycho. Cristiano Ronaldo, pure psycho. The greatest athletes are psychos. He's gotten to 100 club goals faster than Cristiano, Messi, Mbappe, Zlatan. So, I mean, what do we expect of him from here on out? Those are, I mean, those names are good, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> they are. They are. It's on the slight. I think records. I think he would like set his sights on. Is it? Is it Aguero have the all-time goals record at City right now? I think he would. If he signed for City, he would set his sights on the Aguero record. He's twenty. Uh, He's twenty. He's twenty. I can't understand what that. Year? It doesn't seem Alleg real. Allegedly, allegedly, what? allegedly. <laughs> According to sources, I think the thing with Highline that we're just going to see is just utter chaos at this point. Um, and the thing is, he's at a team that has the unserious gene in it. So, like, you know, when you're at Dortmund, like, sometimes they program into the players. Like, like that unseriousness just randomly comes out. You can see it in Dembele from time to time. You see it with uh, just random Dortmund players who left. 
But I think with Holland, he like doesn't have that gene in him, and like he's just gonna completely when he finds like players who are just as serious as him, it's gonna be scary, Alice. And um, I'm not looking forward to it. I really hope like he just doesn't come to Premier League. Just go to Madrid and leave us alone. <laughs>